Right, so hello guys, good afternoon. Um, this is Casey coming at you from Casey Hub, and today I want to show us um, what Triton is and how it is used. A few ways you can use it, all right, mm, very, very sharply. I'll be teaching on the key of C. So Triton is made up of, as it, the name implies, three whole tones, three full tones, three whole tones, three full tones, that's six semitones, three half tones, as some persons would want to call it. So if I'm on C, my Triton from C, now a whole tone is a movement that involves you leaving one key in between, the, in, in between the key you have already pressed and the next one you want to go to. So if, I'm, if, I'm, if I want to go a whole tone from C, it means I'll leave this key in between and come to D. If I want to go to another whole tone from here, I'll touch this one. That's the second whole tone now. So the third whole tone will be here. So let's count one whole tone, two whole tone, three whole tones. So that's a tri-tone because this is, a tone is a movement that involves you jumping one key. So if I move like this, this is a tone. So they call it tri-tone, that means Three tones. They, they say diatones, it means double. That's why you see that diatone is usually played like this. Alright? So tritone involves you playing three living uh, playing three uh, full tones. One, one, two, three. So if this is my tritone on the left now, one, let's let's count the semitones from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what I'm supposed to play on the right is a whole tone from this backward, a whole tone. Okay, let's say two tones from here is what I'll play on the right. And a whole tone from this is what I'll play on the right as well. I'm just trying to explain the several ways you can get your right. So if I want to get my right from here, I'll do two whole tones, two dial tones now, two whole tones, so one, two. This is what I'll play on the right. But for the left, I'll play this. But usually for you to get it, the best, easiest way for you to get it is when you play your tritone, just a whole tone from this backward is what you play on the right. All right? So that's uh, a tritone. So I'm going to teach you a little application. So let me just show us how a uh, tritone another key. So that it won't be that I just showed you one key, then it will be, um, it won't be easy for you like that. So let me show you on E. From E, once you get that tritones now, so we count three full tones, right? One, two, three. So the record by the right is one full tone backward. One full tone. So this is the full tone. If anybody plays Triton, if you are someone that uses Triton, if anyone plays Triton, you will know. Like the church from the 90s, I think there was, I read an article about it, 2010 or thereabout. A church from the 90s said something like, uh, Triton is the devil's tone. They called it the voice of the devil. So they don't allow their pianists to use it in the 80s inside the church. But I don't know why. Uh, because I'm not sure it was the devil that actually gave it. It's still an, a discovery from a, another person. And another place also described Triton as a voice of a woman crying in agony, <laughs> all right? So it's a kind of, uh, if it comes in right, it will get so much to you, all right? And um, it will get so much to people as you are the pianist. So I'm going to use it now on C. I'm going to play a song. So for you are glory. And to be free. All right, so so I just use it in two places. I just use it two different places now. So for you are glorious, and want to be free. So the triton I used there was. Uh, and I did 
at least you, I think you, you should have had people end songs most of the times. African priests like that, you hear them end with bam bam like that. Most time, Digi does that a lot. So this is what he, he normally do there, and it's a triton they normally use. So sorry. If you hear them, some of the times when they repeat like this, you hear the notes very well. You get. Some places may want to use Dytons for that as well, but uh, it depends on what you want to use. Alright, guys, uh, so the song is um, For You Are Glorious. Let me show you how I used it. For you are glorious. Then, so I did Triton for C sharp, D Triton. Then E flat tritone. Okay, C sharp tritone. So for C sharp, we have F on the right, right? So if this is our tritone, this becomes what we play on the right. F. I'm playing F second inversion. Now if this is our tritone, what we play on the right now is F sharp. Now if this is our tritone, what we play on the right becomes G. So for five. For you are glorious in what it's to be So that the first one is just what I just explained. So we played C sharp G, F on the right, D G sharp, um, F sharp on the right, D sharp A, G on the right. Then the next one is N worthy. So I played uh, G, Triton, and what we play on the right now is B. The next one is G sharp Triton. Now what we play on the right is C, right? So that's it. Then I just continue with the rest of the chords for the song, which is not what we are treating today. I'll teach this. This will be the next song I'll be teaching um, in our next tutorial. All right. So you can follow to get the rest of the chords I'm going to be using in the song. Of course, I just played for you are glorious and want to be praised. But I, 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 I can still change it. For you are glorious and want to be praised. Then. That will be in our next video, all right. So, uh, I think this will be all for the tritones, just learn it and try to uh, transfer that to other keys you play, all right. <laughs>